So Boris Johnson has admitted to having been at that party on the 20th of May. Only it wasn't a party, apparently. He thought it was a works do. We've seen the email from Johnson's own private secretary. It's inconceivable. They would have sent out an email without the boss's knowledge. And it clearly stated that it was an opportunity to make the most of the weather, to have some socially distanced drinks and for people to bring their own booze. What work do tells you to bring your own booze during the working day? Now, Johnson made the point that he considered the garden to be an extension of the office, a communal space. However, when we were not even allowed to meet other family members outside in our own gardens, this is not going to go down well. And for that reason, Johnson apologised. Apologised for how it looked. Even if it is proven to be technically true, this was blatantly a social gathering and not for work purposes. So it still falls afoul of the restrictions in place at that time. He deservedly got the PMQs from hell just now with even Keir Starmer finally calling for Johnson's resignation. I'm still amazed he did it. His polling lead depends on Johnson staying put, but consider that that is exactly what Johnson is doing. Starmer might even get away with it and even gain support. And putting all the pressure on Sue Gray, the civil servant conducting the investigation into this, was a dick move from Bozo as well. How much pressure may she be exerted on her over this? How much pressure might she be feeling after all of this today. And the optics, aside from that, are appalling, though. His apology's gone down like a cup of cold sick, even amongst his own MPs. They know it isn't enough. If the inquiry finds against him, he's just dragged this issue on longer than necessary, damaging his party. And if he gets cleared, it'll be considered a sham by the public. There's no win here for the Tories. There are thousands upon thousands of bereaved, angry, upset people everywhere who obeyed the rules, have tragic stories to tell. And this buffoon who applied the rules to them broke them himself and still seeks to excuse himself of any actual wrongdoing. This was not a work event. It was a social event. Therefore, it breached the rules. Johnson hasn't apologised for that at all. He is maintaining the lie that it was a work event and apologised for things looking otherwise. An apology with all the sincerity and grace of a reversing dump truck without any tyres. Tory backbenchers ought to spare Sue Gray the damnable position Johnson's lies and misdeeds have put her in and act accordingly and immediately. And it's past time Cressida Dick stopped hiding under her desk and stepped in at last two. He has to go as soon as possible.